We're going to transfer over. We're going to talk to our boy Craig Adams here from California Lighting Systems. Craig, you've got a, a pretty impressive system here, and uh, and what exactly? Give us a breakdown. What's what, what, how did you get into the industry, and what's your what, what's your what's your true agenda? Well, we started growing seriously about eight years ago. My wife convinced me to set up a grow operation in the backyard. That has grown and grown, and it's mostly a nursery business. We have mothers. We sell clones, so we work with growers all over Southern California. And at that time, it was all about experimenting with equipment, and we tried metal halide, we tried HPS, we tried uh, fluorescent, T5 fluorescent, and our big problem was huge heat, bulbs that burn out once a year, and enormous uh, electricity bills, right. and we kept maxing out on our, our breakers. So my background's kind of in electronics, so right away, well, there's, I tried some of the LEDs in those days from China. They were way overpriced, and they really didn't didn't grow plants that well. So that that's when we first started. I hooked I hooked up with a partner who was an engineer looking to do the same thing, and we started California Lightworks eight years ago. Really, all based on LEDs. And that's and that's. Uh, do you have a website? Is that California Lightworks? CaliforniaLightworks.com. Right. So this has uh, evolved quite a bit over the last eight years. I mean, the. Like I say, the HPS really really performs pretty well, and that's kind of the standard light for bloom. You know, fluorescent works well. It's it's what people use for veg and for small plants, but they both have those disadvantages: a lot of heat, a lot of electricity, bulbs to change. They're not very ecological. So, so how many watts does this pull? Well, the around? beauty the beauty about LEDs is you can use about. 50% of the electricity and get the same light output as any of those other technologies. The, you know, the LEDs themselves are much more efficient as far as the amount of electricity to put out that amount of light. Right, and then you can, this actually goes from red to blue. Well, that's the other point. All these different bulb technologies, it's one color spectrum and that's kind of what it right. is. So people were using like fluorescent or metal halide for veg because it's right. a lot bluer and you get a lot better veg growth. Then they'd switch over or they'd go into another room or switch the lights to metal halide because it's a lot more red and red is really good in bloom. That's where you get your yield. So the problem is it was not really possible to have one light that would do all those jobs. Right. So the, the beauty of LEDs, you can choose exactly the spectrum uh, get whatever you whatever mix bet, best fits the plant. Right. This is a brand new light that it really combines everything we've learned over the last eight years. This is fully programmable, so I can select. You know, it's heavy in blue, it's heavy in red, and then you have a natural right in the middle, and I can choose anything in between. Where if you're in veg, you'd use a much richer blue and tone the red down. Right. Red tends to make your plant stretch and get much taller. Where most people in beds, they want a nice bushy plant with short <coughs> spacing in the nodes. Just the opposite in bloom, you want a lot of red. You want the, you want, do not want a high level of blue. Right. So LEDs gives you the perfect uh, mix of all worlds. And with this, I can actually program over days, weeks, and even across the whole season, the number of hours per day. That can change over time. I can gradually switch over to bloom from veg. I can have the spectrum change along those days. Start like in heavy blue, basically work over to bloom, switch over to red. You can even simulate sunrise, sunset, so it's a more natural uh, transition. transition for right. the plants. Let me ask you this. So your systems today essentially can replace traditional lighting systems. Absolutely, totally. And, uh, it and won't cut your costs in in half. You know, in, in the past, LEDs were really expensive and not able to get enough power to get, to get decent yield, right. or unless you paid you know, an outrageous amount per fixture. Right. Like any anything in electronics, it gets more powerful and it gets cheaper every six months. Right. And so, there'll there'll come a day when LEDs will be the go to, the go to light rather than fluorescent or HPS and we're pretty much there now and but the fixture cost keeps going down every year so it, it's phenomenal the light output and the cost today especially when you can program it you never have too much light you can dial in just the right spectrum you can program the whole thing so you never have to manually switch so let me ask timers you this. are you getting let's say some people good growers today are claiming to get 2 plus pounds per light right are you able to see in that same comparison the same yield? We got growers doing eight pounds of light, which of course you go, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Of course, that's in a 
<laughs> but that's in a green, greenhouse <laughs> using, right, using still, LEDs <laughs> for supplemental light. Indoor, indoor people are averaging two pounds of light. Let me ask you this. This system here with the two fans, would that be considered one or two lights? Well, this is just one, this is one light. This so that unit could produce potentially. This is uh, this draws 400 watts. Right. It'll produce at the same level as of a 600 watt HPS, more or less. Uh, we make a 600 watt version that'll replace one to one a uh, thousand watt HPS. Right. So based on that light, the equivalent of a thousand watt, people are averaging about two pounds of light. Gotcha. With, okay, so it's with 50, it's, it's, oh yeah, with fifty percent less cost. Exactly. And heat and all. You're not spending the money on air conditioning now. I mean, just the cost in lighting alone is fifty percent. Add the heating and all the other elements that are involved with those hot lights. And never having to change a bulb. And never having. And that's a lifetime light right there. You could bloom for twenty years without without stopping. That's kind of nice. Well, I'll give you an example. When I went, when I, my nursery business, we had about fifty eight light T fives. All of those are really hot. They're about 450 watts. I was able to swap those out one to one with a, an LED that draws 200, 200 watts. So it's half, less than half. I, and I, we just we just grow 24 hours a day. We don't we don't we never turn the lights off. And I, <laughs> Motel Six over here. <laughs> no, it's, it's always on. We've been running those lights for six years now, nonstop, 24 hours a day. I've never changed a bulb. I've never had to touch them. So it's a big advantage that's, in that's technology. Amazing. Yeah, that's just the technology. I mean, we're moving into a Star Trek you know, world as far as growing. Um, uh, so let me ask you this, uh, kind of uh, off the subject, but where does your passion lie? Is it in growing or is it in technology? It's both. The, 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 the thing that really excites me is being able to simulate nature. And to do that, you have to know how nature So you like to play works. God. <laughs> I like to read God's mind and okay. say, that's what God's doing. <laughs> and light, it's really interesting, the relationship between light and plants. It's, it's based on evolution. It's based on particular species of plants, their native habitat. That's the way they use light, depending on where they uh, evolved. Right. Really interesting point. You know, most people think, oh, a good grow light, the more it looks like the sun, the better results you're going to get. But the trouble is that's not true. We can do studies. Plants don't use anything in the yellow and green. And that's the big middle section of so the sunlight. In terms of photosynthesizing, they're using... All the photosynthesis happening in the blues and the reds. Gotcha. Very little is going on in the middle. So an HPS light, it's got a lot of red. Right. It's got a lot of red. It's got that, a lot of yellow and green. It's got a lot of yellow and green. So right. half of that light is, you, the plant doesn't even Waste use it. it, but it's got enough red so you, you get pretty good yield. Right. With this, I can dial it exactly the amount of red I want. I can cut out all the greens and yellows. And to me, for me, it's an interesting question. Well, why don't plants use the middle spectrum of the light? It's the most readily available. Why don't they use that? And it's interesting because for a billion years, you only had bacteria growing in the ocean, and that's where photosynthesis evolved. They photosynthesized the yellow and green light, but they blocked all that light from anything lower in the ocean, and more complex plants evolved a few f lower. The only thing that got through was red and blue, and blue spectrum. Right. Those are the plants that eventually moved onto land, evolved land, and they never regain the ability to photosynthesize those spectrums. So it's really, so an LED is the only technology we could, once you understand that, I could play God a little bit and I could maximize the, the best growth, best yield with the least electricity, the most ecological solution, no bulbs to change, and even bulbs are, they're full of mercury. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. So oh, for us, thing. this is uh, this is the best solution, plus if, just if I can <laughs> That's control pretty it, trick. I like the dial control in. panel. That's awesome. This will control up to a thousand lights. So it's so, uh, really designed for commercial without, operations. Without totally interrupting you. <laughs> Please do. I've been to your uh, facility and I was very impressed with the products and, and, and the projects that you're working on. I mean, I was blown away with the quality and, uh, and I've referred a number of people to you because of your products are superior. Um, Craig also has a, a, a top of the line cloning nursery. It's called the nursery in Southern California here. And, uh, and if you ever need clones, I don't know if they're allowed to reach you through the, California the, the, Light. The, the nursery.us. The nursery.us. Is our website. And then your, your lighting company is californialightworks.com. Right? Yep. Yes, sir. Now, Craig, are you open to, um, are you open to uh, do, do you work with people that, that 
would you consult or give somebody advice if they called and they, they wanted Absolutely. to? Absolutely. We offer full consulting on how to set up a grow room, how many lights you need to cover, what space. We even get advice about nutrients and grow room setup because nutrient red is a little bit different under LEDs than other lights. And normal traditional. But we, we have full service. It's all included with the deal. So Awesome. What would you say, Craig, is, is your end-all mission statement in this, in this? Where are you in terms of your overall agenda? What do you want to see happen in this world, and how do you want to affect the, the outcome? Well, obviously, we want LED technology to replace these other really inefficient technologies. I'd say in general, though, I think long-term, as things get legal and people can grow out in the open, greenhouse is the way to go because you can use as much sun as possible yeah. outdoor has limitations indoor really energy intensive and you know green greenhouse you can get the best of both worlds but you still need to supplement you use the sun as much as possible you need to supplement with artificial lighting yeah. to leds are perfect for that so i think a big grow operation using greenhouse with supplemental leds that can go up and down with the sun that's brilliant what's the cost of a unit like this these sell for about, it's brand new. We're launching this, starting to ship uh, right after 4th of July weekend. These are brand new system. There, there'll be about 700 bucks. All right, so there you have it, guys. If you can get 100,000 social media views, he'll give you free lighting system. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Reach out to Craig Adams, you guys. This is an awesome guy. He's doing amazing things. He and his wife are an amazing couple. And, uh, and thank you so much, Craig, All for right. coming down here. Thank you. Thank is there you. anything else you'd like to add? That's good. Thanks for having me. You guys me. move.